thousands of German soldiers arriving at a prisoner of war camp. A unit of German soldiers during World War I with a young Adolf Hitler supposedly on the left. A woman offers a flower to Indian soldiers fighting on behalf of the British Empire. Giving flowers to soldiers was a traditional sign of welcome and support. Canadian soldier with burns caused by mustard gas. Workers amid rows and rows of shells in a large warehouse at the National Filling Factory in the former village of Chilwell. The facility was a UK-owned explosives filling factory. Soldiers playing football in no man's land during the Christmas truce, a series of unofficial ceasefires along the western front of World War I around Christmas 1914. Soldiers of the Royal Irish Rifles, an infantry rifle regiment of the British Army, rest during the beginning hours of the Battle of the Somme. Besides World War I, the regiment also served in the Second World War, the Korean War, and the Second Boer War. A sentry in the trenches looking through an improvised periscope at the Somme. A skull dubbed the Crown Prince serves as a nighttime point of reference for soldiers fighting in the Battle of Verdun. Two U.S. soldiers wear gas masks while walking through plumes of smoke. While poison gas was responsible for less than 1% of deaths during the war, the new chemical warfare created a psychological terror that had never been known before. War Cinema Crew Working on the Western Front Wounded soldiers after the recapture of Fort Vaux during the Battle of Verdun the battle lasted 303 days in 1916. Delegates of Germany and the Allies signed the Treaty of Versailles in the former palace's famous Hall of Mirrors. The treaty brought an end to World War I on June 28, 1919.